so today in this sessions uh, we will see uh, some of the important uh, reasoning based questions on aldehyde and ketones uh, both ketone and uh, this uh, alkene uh, compounds so bo uh, bonds um, because both poses the double bonds and they undergo addson reactions so now why uh, they undergo this addson reactions now in this case we if we see that uh, this carbonyl compound it will go under nucleophilic addition reaction but in case of this olefenic compound this will go electrophilic addition reaction so there is a nucleophilic and electrophilic this is the difference but in both cases addition reaction will occur because of this unsaturated bonds the difference is due to the fact that carbon of carbonyl this is ketonic grouping is more electronegative than carbon of the cc that is double bond grouping now why Sim simple reason is that oxygen is more electronegative than carbon so thus uh, carbon of the uh, this uh, ketonic group react with nucleophiles and in this case grouping is itself a nucleophile so this is itself a nucleophile so this will react with the electrophile explain why aldehydes are the more reactive than the ketones if you see the ketones uh, in case of ketones what will happen uh, this uh, there is a polarity between the carbon and oxygen when any uh, reagent is present so this oxygen will get the partial negative charge and carbon gets the partial positive charge means uh, thus uh, this compound carbonyl group is polar in nature so due to the lower positive charge so that's why the carbon becomes your less reactive towards the nucleophile in ketone what happens uh, this is in case i'm talking about the aldehyde but in ketones if you take the positive charge on the carbonyl carbon is lowered by the plus i effect of the two alkyl groups in comparison in comparison to the aldehyde so if you take this is applicable for both uh, aldehyde and ketones for the polar nature but if you poses one hydrogen so this will be more reacted but if you poses the uh, this uh, two alkyl groups so there will be the plus i effect of these two alkyl groups in comparison to aldehyde so in which one alkyl group is present so further that increase in this number of alkyl groups also it increases the steric hindrance so this is the steric hindrance due to which it makes it less reactive it means ketone is less reactive than aldehyde under what circumstances may be aldehyde be prepared by oxidation of primary alcohol that is roh with acid dichromate let us see this answer so actually what happens if you take the aldehyde product if the aldehyde product is more volatile than the reactant alcohol and water then it may be removed from the reaction mixture by distillation as it is formed let us see the example this is the ethanol whose boiling point is 294 kelvin so it can be prepared from the c2h5 ethanol whose boiling point is 351 by distillation method so this is the condition to separate the aldehyde from the ethanol so acyl chloride uh, fails to give the ketone when treated with the rmgx but when you take the dialkyl cadmium the ketone is obtained easily so in this case ketone obtained easily but in case this is not giving ketone properly so let us see the reason in case of acyl chloride so when it react with the grignard reagent it will form the ketone readily but further this ketone will react with the rmgx to form this uh, tertiary uh, your um, tertiary your uh, chloride uh, magnesium halide you can see here uh, on further hydrolysis it will give you tertiary alcohol so this is formed readily but on further reaction the grignard reagent ultimately you will get the tertiary alcohol so this is the one of the problem with the acyl halide but if you use the dialkyl halide so in case it will form the ketone immediately why because uh, cadmium and r2 dialkyl cadmium this is sufficiently electrophilic so this is the electrophilic compound and it will initiate the reactions and convert this, uh, uh, this they will convert this whole acyl chloride into the ketone immediately so this is the basic difference between these two process boiling point of the two propanol propanone and this is a two methyl propanes they are given 355 330 kelvin and molecular masses are same so why it is so why the boiling point is different although the molecular mass is almost same boiling point depends on some of the factors like hydrogen bonding and some van der waal forces so in case of alcohol the boiling point is high due to the hydrogen bonding but in carbonyl compound dipole dipole attraction forces of carbonyl compound it causes them to have the higher boiling point than alkenes so this is the 
रीजन एक्सप्लेन वाई द एडिशन ऑफ एसियन टू कार्बोनिक कंपाउंड इज एक्सलेटेड बाई द बेसिस एंड रिटार्डेड बाई एसिड्स लेट अस सी दिस आंसर If you see the reaction generally, what happens? This is the reaction of the uh, carbonyl compound with the CN, and it will give the addition reaction. And finally, if initially is the slow, then it become fast, and you will get the cyanohydrin. So, if you use the basis, in basis, what will happen? CN is formed directly from the SCN because H is removed, then CN can directly attack. While in acidic medium, uh, this uh, SCN, that is the, it is the ionization of SCN in SCN is. Uh, suppressed due to the uh, common ion effect of the H plus, and due to which what will what will happen? Uh, in case of acids, the addition of the SCN is generally retarded by the uh, this carbonyl compound in presence of other strong acids. So this is the answer. Why do halogen acids like like HCl, HBr, HI are readily added to uh, this olefinic grouping, and they fail to give the addition product with ketonic group? So let us see. Actually, in case of H uh, Hx, so they are really uh, combined to polarized molecules. So in this case, they are really combined to this one. So they will react like this one. You can see, and they will form this reaction. So if you see this reaction, this is the addition product which is similar to GM dihydroxyl compound. GM dihydroxyl means the carbon having two OH. So OH and OH, but in place of one OH, we can see one halogen is there. So when such case is there, OH and X, so this is unstable compounds. So they will again decompose into the original substance. So this is the reason it is uh, failed to give addition product with alkene. Why it is uh, possible to give in case of? No, no, it is uh, easily added to uh, this alkene, but it is failed to give the ketonic grouping. In this case, it formed the this way two OH bond, but uh, uh, it is not forming with, in case of alkene. So it is halogen acids are easily added to uh, olefinic grouping, but fail to ketonic grouping. Pure SCN fails to react with the aldehyde. If you take the pure SCN, it won't react with the aldehydes. Why? SCN is the covalent compound, so we all know that uh, SCN is the weak acid. It is a covalent compound and does not furnish the CN ion due to the weak acid. However, in presence of acid, it furnishes sufficient concentration of uh, CN ion, and the reaction proceeds like this. So that's why if you take the pure SCN, it will fail. So, but we, we, if you take in presence of base, the reaction will proceed with properly. Why only aldehyde, uh, ketonic, or cyclic ketones react with the sodium bisulfite? So, in case of uh, sodium bisulfite, this uh, sulfite ion is the large ion. Just I'm repeating, sulfite is the large ion, and its addition is possible only under the condition that the ketonic group is not sterically hindered. Means if ketonic group is not sterically hindered, as in case of uh, aldehyde ketones and cyclic ketones. That's why it is reaction is very. Uh, it react with the this compound easily react with the sodium bisulfite. Chloral hydrate is a stable compound even it is a gem diol. Chloral hydrate is a stable compound even it is a gem diol. Why? Uh, in chloral hydrate, what will happen? Uh, th there is a minus I effect of the three chlorine atoms, and it destabilizes the carbonyl atom structures uh, because it is putting the partial positive charge on the carbon adjacent to the carbonyl compound. You can see here, this is the C. There are three Cl atoms, and this carbon is uh, attached with the oxygen. Okay, and this carbon gets the positive charges. Now, what will happen? If you take the adjacent carbon, I am talking adjacent adjacent carbon, so they will also get the positive charge. Why? Because of the three electronic group. Because Cl is acting as the electronic group, and due to which it becomes your unstable. This carbon is unstable, and immediately if you put put any water, even water is acting as a weak nucleophile in presence of aldehyde. So water uh, immediately attack this carbonyl carbon, and it will form the OH and OH. So like this one. Now, when OH is formed, then this there is a hydrogen bonding uh, takes place between hydrogen and Cl and hydrogen Cl. So, in this case, this Cl is uh, acting uh, bond between the hydrogen and Cl is actually the hydrogen bonding, and this hydrogen bonding is very much strong. So, even this is a gem diol, this is a gem diol, and it will be your 
very very stable in nature so this whole structure is called as the chloral hydrate and then you can see there are two intramolecular hydrogen bonding so there are two regions in this case since there is no adjacent positive charge is formed so in this carbon you can see there is no positive charge due to the attack of the weak uh, a nucleophile of OH on this carbon and second is there is a stability of two hydrogen bonding between the two molecules that's why chloral hydrate is more stable than the chloral when they are reacting with the water despite of this is a gem diol formation of oxime and other ammonia derivatives from carbonyl compounds requires slightly acidic media for maximum rate so for maximum rate, we require slightly acidic media why we require let us see so this is the actual reaction so carbonyl carbon present so weak acid first it will form protonated so what will happen this actually on forming protonation this actually it facilitates the lewis bases but if you however if you take the strong acidic media so in the presence of strong acidic media the nitrogen of the reagented protonated through the unshared pair of electrons and the reagent they cannot attack the carbonyl group so this is the one problem the reagent cannot attack the carbonyl group so in basic media so there is no carbonyl group so in presence of basic media there is no carbonyl groups you can see this reaction so this is the reaction of the aldehyde so in case of this ammonia derivatives in presence of weak acid first this oxygen will attack by the weak acids so then again this lone pair can attack on this carbon carbon and this is unstable so immediately what will happen one proton is immediately released out uh, from this uh, ammonia to, to stabilize this uh, uh, hydroxylamine uh, NH2CX this is ammonia derivatives and again on this uh, stabilizing we can see there is two OH uh, this one OH is there one NH is X is there and uh, when this condition is there this is still unstable molecules so uh, one OH is also uh, eliminated from here and it will form the oxyme so uh, we cannot take the strong acidic medium we have to take the weak acidic medium just to facilitate the reaction actually boiling point of the aldehyde it uh, lies between the parent alkenes and the corresponding alcohols so why if you see the alkanes having the low boiling point because there is a no hydrogen bonding there is a no dipole dipole interact attractive forces in case of alcohol they have high boiling point because inter or intra hydrogen bonding both is possible in case of alcohol so they are very very high boiling point now come to aldehydes aldehydes uh, no hydrogen bonding but they have the dipole dipole forces are present due to the polar nature of the carbonyl group so due to this uh, polar nature of carbonyl group one is your delta negative one is the delta positive so due to this nature so this is called dipole dipole attraction so they also creates the increase the your uh, some boiling point but lesser than that of alcohols aldehyde and ketones have high dipole moment why they have high dipole moment because due to the large contribution of the polar structure that is resonance to the hybrid you can see under the region this will convert into negative and positive charges so they have the uh, due to this polar nature of this carbonyl groups they have the high dipole moment so this is the basically reason sodium bisulfide is used for the purification of aldehydes and ketones so why if you see the region sodium and ketonic they form the insoluble crystalline compound with sodium bisulfide so which can be filtered so this crystalline compounds are insoluble and you can filtrate these compounds and these on distillation with the saturated solution of sodium carbonate and they will give you aldehyde or ketones again so we can see this reaction this is the ketone or aldehyde so in presence of sodium bisulfide you will get the insoluble crystalline substance so this is the special uh, identification of the carbonyl compound ketonic aldehyde compound because this is insoluble and whenever you will put any uh, sodium carbonate or any mineral acid again they will convert into your ketone and uh, aldehyde so the, this uh, crystal compound have a very uh, sharp melting point uh, so due to which this is identified the compound identified as the uh, your aldehyde or ketones iodoform is obtained by the reaction of acetone with hypoiodite but not with iodide 
सो हाइपो आयोडाइट मीन्स ओ आई नेगेटिव दिस कॉल हाइपो आयोडाइट मीन्स ओ एन आई नेगेटिव सो दिस इज योर मोनोवेलेंट एन आइन सो लेट सी दिस रिएक्शन रिएक्शन इज लाइक दिस सो दिस इज योर कीटोन्स इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ हाइपो आयोडाइट सो दिस इज वन द एनाइनिक कंपाउंड सो इट विल गिव यू सी आई थ्री सी ओ सी एस थ्री एंड थ्री ओ एच मैन दिस द रिएक्शन इन आइडोफॉर्म सो दिस रिएक्शन एक्चुअली इनिशिएटेड बाय द रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ द मिथाइल प्रोटॉन्स मीन दिस द मिथाइल प्रोटॉन्स हाइड्रोजन पटेन प्रेजेंट इन दिस मिथाइल इज कॉल्ड द मिथाइल प्रोटॉन्स दिस होल हाइड्रोजन इज रिप्लेस बाय दिस पॉजिटिव हाइड्रोजन and it is converted into ci3cocst so again this is very good living group so when again attacked by the any again a strong base so this will convert into the ido form this is what the reaction in ido form reaction that you will study that you might have study in this ido form reactions hydrogens of the aldehyde and ketones are not prepared in highly acidic medium so we do not generally prepared in highly acidic medium so why we cannot prepare so let us see so this is the ketone and hydrazin in presence so normally we are taking the optimum ph is 3 to 5 so in this case the hydrazin uh, react with the this uh, carbonyl compound nucleophilic acid reaction take place uh, condensation and uh, miss uh, with the liberation of water molecules and they will form this hydrazin So actually, what happen? Ammonia derivatives are basic. They are basic in nature, and ammonia derivatives means this hydrazine like compound, hydrazine or oxine. All these are basic in nature. So they are easily oxidized by air. Therefore, they are stored as their salt. Salt means ammonium hydroxide, HCl, etc. So whenever uh, needed for the reaction, this ammonia derivatives is generated from the corresponding salt by the action of mild base, that is sodium acetate. So this let us see this reaction. Reaction is like this. It goes like this. Uh, ammonium hydroxide HCl. This is the salt, and it is reacting with the sodium acetate, which is a mild base. So you will get ammonium hydroxide in acetic acid and NaCl. So this acetic acid is acting as a weak acid. So this weak acid uh, liberated it catalyzes the addition reaction. This acid only it catalyzes the addition reaction. And however, if you take the excess acids. what will happen ammonia derivatives will form a salt again and which is no longer uh, will be acting as a nucleophilic in characters and hence the reaction will not occur so in uh, strong mediums it is no longer a nucleophilic means it is loses the uh, characteristic of the nucleophilicity and the reactions will not occur that's why uh, therefore optimum uh, ph is needed depending upon the basicity of the ammonia derivatives and upon the Uh, reactivity of the carbonyl compounds uh, generally we employ a uh, 3 to 5 ph that's why uh, hydrogens of cho and ketones are not prepared in highly acidic medium so this is our answer simple is that uh, simply we can say uh, nucleophilic characters of this carbonyl compound is lost or it decreases down